Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? So uh, we were jam-packed on the show yesterday. We had so much going on. And uh, as the show was developing, many of you saw a tweet and many of you passed said tweet along to me. And uh, it was about a guy who we have uh, oft criticized here and oft waited for the moment that he would be gone forever. I'm looking at you, Danny Braywick, Garrett Pizzolatto, Michael Moore, uh, Mike M, Vino Frazier, uh, Spencer Sanborn. These are just the ones that texted the show immediately after the news broke that Traquan Smith had been released by the New Orleans Saints. Muse, I know normally this is what we do. Whenever there's a player that we send away to the island, we uh, send them away with the sounds. This was the uh, the, 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 the claymation. Uh, yeah, Rudolph the Red yeah, Reindeer, The Claymation Matt. Rudolph movie, The Island of Misfit Toys. And so over the years, we've sent so many players there. Players that came in like Kobe Fleener, Jairus Bird, a wasted draft picks, wasted money in free agency. But Muse, kill the music. Kill it. We already sent Traquan to the island. You know what he did? Traquan escaped the damn island. Like Sean Connery in The Rock. Welcome to The Rock. Like he ran, ran away from the island. When you go to the island, you get a one-way ticket, you never come back. You're gone forever. And I'll be damned, the Saints sent Traquan to the island last year, and he escaped the freaking island. And he came back to New Orleans, and you know what they did? They gave him $6 million to go back. But now he's gone forever! just got through saying how we've done this before. But you remember what happened a year ago, don't you, Muse? They cut Traquan Smith. He was a free agent. Free to sign with anybody! And there was one team, just one, that even gave him a workout, Muse. Remember who it was? Actually, I, I don't know. It I, was the Atlanta Falcons. Oh, that's right. It you was. know who the GM of the Atlanta Falcons is? I do. Who is it? Fontenot. It's Terry Fontenot. Where did Terry Fontenot come from? Saints. So Terry Fontenot was part of the organization when they drafted Traquan. They said, ah, bring him in. Let's give him a workout. Just kick the tires. And you know what they did, Muse? They, they didn't sign him. They said, him. get out. Yeah, they didn't sign him. Get out. Get out. But then the Saints signed him and again. And so you know what the Saints did? They said, come on back. We'll give you a two-year, $6 million yeah. deal with $2 million of it guaranteed and more than $4 million in incentives. And you know what Traquan did last year? Uh, not much. Yeah. Nothing! Not much. Nothing at all! Threw some great blocks. Traquan Smith, you got to be freaking kidding me. They brought him back when nobody... The rest of the NFL, Muse, told you. The rest... No one even gave him a friggin' workout. Not even a courtesy call. One team worked in your division rival whose GM used to be on your staff who was here during the process that you drafted Traquan Smith in the third round. Only one that worked him out. Saints brought him back. And he rewarded you by starting six times, catching 19 balls for 278 yards. But he threw some damn he good blocks. He threw block. some great blocks. Crank up the music for the blocks, Muse. Let's hear it from Traquan and his ability to block downfield. Oh, my goodness. 2018, Muse. 2018 is when it all started. The Saints took Traquan Smith in round three out of Central Florida. Pick 91 overall, and we thought, hey, this guy, big-bodied receiver, 
as a junior there at UCF, had 1,100 yards receiving, averaged nearly 20 yard a reception. You know what we were all thinking? Explosiveness. Here it is. Yep. This is the deep threat. This is the deep threat that's going to replace Brandon Cooks, who you had shipped away. You finally got your deep threat again, your speed demon. And you know what Traquan did during his time in New Orleans? Not much. Damn it! 400 yards receiving as a rookie on 28 catches. His best season, his best season was the COVID year. Remember what happened in 2020? Michael Thomas not available out the whole year. Great opportunity for Traquan to step up. Finally earn that draft pick, that, the respect for that third round draft pick. You know what he did? 34 catches, 448 yards. Marquez Callaway became your number one receiver as an undrafted free agent. Last year, Michael Thomas out again for the season. Misses the whole freaking year. Plays like three games and then a toe injury. He's done the whole year. You need somebody to step up. Who stepped up? Was it Traquan Smith? It was not. It was not Traquan Smith. Rashid Shaheed stepped up. Heard Juwan him. Johnson stepped up. Undrafted free agents to the left and to the right step up. And the guy who you've been hanging on to like an albatross around your neck since 2018 just sat there catching a check. Started just six games a year ago. Former third round pick on his second contract with the team. Your best receiver, all pro, Michael Thomas out. Jarvis Landry out due to injury. You need somebody to step up. Did Traquan do it? He did not. He stepped up the ladder into the coal tub is what he did. He, he just stepped up the ladder into the coal tub. That's what he did. Mm, 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 mm. Deontay Hardy. Better career in New Orleans than Traquan Smith. Mark West Calloway. Jawan Johnson, Rashid Shahid's on his way. Turn off your email, Muse. I heard it bing. But you know what? There is one redeeming quality that Traquan Smith has, Muse. Well, uh, his blocking ability? I don't, I don't oh, think... he can block. Okay. All right, we're still going back to that. All right, yeah. And you know who needs a really good blocking receiver down the field right now? Who's that? Denver Broncos, the guy that drafted yeah. him. It, when you go lose and give up 70 points to the Miami Dolphins, you know what you need? You need a blocking receiver. That's what you need. Sean Payton, the cure to what ails you in Denver right now is waiting. One phone call away to your old guy you drafted back in 2018 who can't catch a cold, who lives in the cold tub, but man, is he one hell of a blocker downfield. All I know, Muse... Hallelujah! He's no longer our problem. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. That's got to be the Saints mantra right now. Trey Quan fooled you once. You fooled yourself the second time. Don't you walk down this road again. Don't you do it, New Orleans. You sent him to the island and he found his way back. And now you've wisened up. It, it only took five years and now missing all of training camp with an injury. Again, living in the cold tub for you finally to say, you know what? We got to cut somebody loose to sign a quarterback. Who should? Oh, the guy that never plays. Sean Payton on two. So long, Traquan. Fare thee well, Traquan. Actually, I don't care how you fare. Just don't fare in New Orleans no more. Traquan Smith. Go! He go! I've been waiting for 24 hours to do that, Muse. Yeah. Been waiting. Mm. Good luck, Traquan. I wish you nothing but happiness and success in life and in the world. I mean that sincerely. I don't want ill for any human. I want him to do great things in life. I wish the best for him and his family and whatever may come next. I just don't want any of it to be a new one. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.